Hi you guys and welcome to today's selection of 15 vanilla enhancing mods for 1.16.5. If you enjoyed today's video then please leave a like or maybe consider to subscribe to this channel because I put a lot of effort into these videos. Now without further ado, let's start with today's selection. 1. Solar Cooker Don't you just hate mining coal? It's that tedious process over and over again and when you are in need of some of that dark ore, it's never there. Well, that happened to me in the SMP. I'm just too lazy to mine coal. So I've got the best solution for you. Solar Cooker adds a furnace variant that uses the sun as its energy. Crafted with four planes, four iron and a chest, you got your own solar cooker. If you now place it, you can start cooking or smelting your items. So just drop it in its slot. Of course, the solar cooker only works during the day, and if it's open to the sky. And maybe you saw it's quite slow. Well, you can craft reflectors with 3 iron, 3 slabs and 3 plates. Place them facing towards the cooker and it will speed up the process. One can add up to 4 reflectors to one cooker making it speedy. To snow pick. Now, to this random sounding mod. If I thought snowy biomes are just dreary, then what about we add pigs there? But not those normal pink pigs. Snowy pigs with glowy eyes. These pigs will spawn in every snowy biome, like snowy tundra. If you happen to kill those snow mutated pigs, then they will drop frozen pork chop, which can be thawed into normal pork chop. 3. Better shields. Ever bored of having the old same shield which isn't upgradable? Then you should try better shields, adding a shield for every tier from wood to netherite. Each shield blocks only a certain amount of damage, while the default one blocks 75, iron 90, gold 85, diamond 98 and netherite 100. Another cool feature is that you can now add thorns to shields. They won't work on projectiles, but when you are blocking. The damage reduction and the thorns application is configurable for plonk. Ever wanted to place down your items in a dramatic way, like all of those adventure maps do? Well, plonk allows you to do that. If you press P while looking at a block, irrelevant from which side one will place down the item and block you are currently holding. One side can hold up to four items at once. With the shift plus P, you can rotate all of the items on one side. To get back your items slash blocks, just right click. This even works for the bottom of a block. 5. Effect Wood Ever wondered why Minecraft only has red and blue nether wood, but not green? Effect Wood will add tree stems into the crimson and warped forest that are actually a green variant to the already added ones. Of course, you can craft them into whatever blocks you desire. 6. Well Behaved Mobs now to a features adding mod that tweaks vanilla mobs so it doesn't add anything itself but tries to make vanilla better. Firstly, the strafing of skeletons is disabled. Instead, they will just stare into your dark zone. A lot of monsters like zombies and skeletons are now afraid of exploding creepers. Endermen lose their speed while chases. Rabbits aren't such weeps anymore so no running away from you if you're holding a carrot. Sheep will try to run away from wolves, not anymore that suicidal. When animals are in love mode, there will be particles during the whole effect, not only once. The last feature is the stalking creeper. Disabled by default. This one has to be enabled via config to do so. Have cheats enabled and go slash config show file well behaved mobs common. And click on the TMO file. The text program opens up and changes the value of stalking creeper from false to true and safe. Stalking creepers will stay close to you when exploding and even try to dodge attacks. Basically strafing. But for creepers. 7. Progressive difficulty. How about we make the game advance more stages after you complete specific achievements? Progressive difficulty adds 3 new modes. The normal activated when joining the world, expert after entering the nether and master when defeating the ender dragon. With each stage, more tweaks are added to make sure the game gets harder. This list is pretty long and it would probably take some minutes to explain the differences between each stage. I'd rather do a separate video on that, but if you're anxious to know, then check the page of the mod. 
Here are a few examples what the mod does. Zombies will spawn in groups of 1 to 3. Wolves and monsters can now inflict a new effect, bleeding, which behaves like poison. To end this, die, or use a bandage, which is craftable. During expert mode, giants can now spawn naturally. And a lot more. The video will be uploaded later. 8. Gilded Ingot. Ever came across Gilded Blackstone and you just had one thought? Useless. No more of that nonsense. Now mine Gilded Blackstone and smelt it to get Gilded Ingots. These you can either make into armor and tools or use them for building dope structures. The equipment is a bit better than iron to not be overpowered. And if you combine it with coal, then you get Gilded Pepple, a stronger variant of coal. 9. Scarecrow's Territory Ever thought Scarecrow's would be a good addition to the game? Scarecrow's Territory adds craftable Scarecrow's into the game, which, when placed, either allow passive mobs to spawn or activate spawners. 10. Wood Wars Ever run out of wood while mining? It can be really life-threatening if you don't have enough wood for sticks or run out of tools while being lost in caves. Well, wood ores just adds all of the wood types, even nether ones, as ores. 11. Mob Catcher Even though this could remind someone of a Pokeball Mob Catcher, it is a really awesome mod, adding the new item Capturing Device, which allows you to capture nearly all mobs with the right click. With only 4 iron and 1 ender pearl, every mob can now be transported easily. But there's even a capturing device launcher with two modes, capturing and releasing. Switch between them with shift right clicking. When capturing, the launcher shoots devices and will capture anything that it hits. With releasing, it's the opposite. It, this even works for endermen. And these modes are also compatible with dispensers. 12. Flight Potion Ever wanted to make some school structures, cross a big void or something else you need creative flight for? Then now you can make flight potions. Even though this sounds OP, I think it's pretty well balanced. Firstly, you need to find strange dust, which spawn rarely in caves. Craft 6 of those with redstone, glowstone and a ghast tier to get 3 magic dust. Combine that with an awkward potion and voila, you got a 2 minute flight potion. It works like creative flight. Of course, you can make the potion longer, splash potions, tipped arrows, and lingering ones. Just a side info. 13. Enhanced Celestials Ever wanted to have lunar events in Minecraft? Well, today you can be blessed or cursed, depending on the moon. During the blood moon, one cannot sleep, but the worst part is the mob spawn rate. If you can't outrun them, you are dead. During harvest moon, the crop growth and harvest rate will be increased by a ton. That's everything, just a small tweak. 14. Simple Sponge If you are an OG modded player, you will know Open Blocks. Open Blocks adds a ton of different features into the game, and this mod was inspired by it, but only focuses on sponges. Now, there are two different sponges, regular and magmatic. They are crafted with wool and slime, and for the magmatic one, add a bit of magma slime to it. The difference between a normal sponge and these here are they will not stop sucking the liquids while a sponge gets wet. Like you can see here. The normal one for water and magmatic for lava. Don't place the normal one in lava, it will drain it, but also be destroyed in the process. These sponges are also available as tools in normal and compressed. The normal variant can suck nearly 7 square block radius, but having a small durability, while the compressed one nearly a 14 square block radius and having more durability. Also available for magma. There's also the energized sponge, but for that you need an extra mod to be able to fill it with energy, like mechanism, but it only removes one roll of water. 15. X plus. You know, everyone talks about cave, mountain or biomes updates, but what about X. We need an egg update, JK. But egg plus adds some more related eggs items into the game. Firstly, there are now multiple egg dishes, cook eggs and even turtle eggs in a furnace. There's an extra achievement when you kill turtle babies. Get sold to make an omelet or craft scrambled eggs. A new chicken portrait. And after you've beaten the game, you are able to get infinite food with boiling our dragon egg in a furnace. There's also support for the mod Rediscovered that adds the former red dragon into the game. 
Its egg can be cooked into an omelette. Combine 9 eggs to be able to get a new building block, the egg bundle. Hit chickens to get feathers and make chicken nests to be able to get new chick babies very easily. Right now that doesn't work, but after you placed the eggs into the nest, you will get broken eggs. When you will drop that, you will get baby chickens. I already reported it, no worries. So these were the 15 vanilla enhancing mods. If you uh, liked it, then please leave a like or even consider to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos because this was really a pain to make. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it and you found something you want to try out. Now I would say we'll see us in the next one. Ciao!